Hi guys. Okay, we are going to do our Thursday math and then we'll go over virtual learning and that'll be it for today. So let's start with our day 13 math task. It says Tracy bought three magnets. So here are her three magnets. Scott has two times as many. Then Scott buys one more. How many magnets does Scott have? So Tracy bought three, so here are her three magnets. Scott has two times, so we're gonna do three times two. So Scott's gonna do two of those three, and we're gonna show that here. So one, but he bought two times as many, two. Then he bought one more individual magnet. So it says, how many magnets does Scott have? One, two, three four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to type over to this side. Scott, ooh, Scott has seven magnets. Because we know that Tracy has three, Scott has two times. So we would do, we could either do it the way we laid out in the picture or we would do three, two times as many equals, we know that's six, and then he gets one more, which would be seven. So either way, you could do it with numbers or you can do it with models. It, would, um, it wouldn't change your answer. Okay, so let's look at a couple of these. Today we're working on expressions. So it says the four operations, so we're going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. And then they say an expression is a number or a combination of numbers and operations. Remember, our expressions do not have equal signs. So all we have to do is set up the equation. We don't have to solve it, and we don't need an equal sign. So it says use numbers and operations to write each phrase in as, as an expression. So let's go over number one. So this is where we're going to focus on the keywords, almost like our chart that we used to have on our desk. There are going to key, be keywords that tell us whether we need to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So it says four more than seven. Remember, if I have four more than you, I'm going to add them. So I'm going to do four more than seven. And that's all we have to do. We don't have to solve it because we're doing expressions. So over here it says the total of five rows of six chairs. So remember that word of tells us to multiply. We can also see because we have rows and columns, which is like an array. And when we're doing arrays, that's when we're multiplying. So I'm going to do five times six. Again, remember, expressions do not have equal signs. So this is the fun part where all we have to do is just set up the equation for somebody else to solve. Then we're going to come down to number three where it says the difference between 89 and 80. So when we see difference, when you're finding the difference or somebody has a certain amount more than and we want to figure that out, we're going to subtract. So if we were seeing our chart, difference would be under subtract. So I'm going to do 89 minus 80 and I don't have to solve it because again we are just writing the expression. Then over here it says three people equally divide $21. So equally, remember when we said equal or each, we know we're going to divide because it literally says divide. So I'm going to take my $21 and I'm going to, I can't type a division equation so I always just insert it here and I'm going to make this smaller. So I'm going to do 21 divided by three, and it's going to equal, oh, no, we don't have to write an equal sign. See, even I mess up. So we don't need an equal sign because we are doing expressions. So that's all they wanted you to do was set those up. And we are going to finish that where there are six nails in the toolbox. So you have six nails in your toolbox. Write an expression to tell how many there will be when there are. So what if there were two fewer nails? So I know I'm starting with six. And when I have something fewer, that usually means you're taking away. So I'm going to subtract two. Remember, we're just writing an expression, so we don't have to put an equal sign or solve it. Okay, so then we're going to come over here, and we know we're starting with six nails. But what if there were four times as many nails? So remember, four times is literally telling you four times. So I'm going to write exactly what I see. Four times six. And that's all you have to do. There are no equal signs. So then we're going to come down here and now we're not necessarily focusing on the six nails. Now we're going to focus on our chart here. So we're having a hardware hardware sale and for glue, if you want to buy glue it costs 10 cents. If you want to buy a tape measure it costs 95 cents. If you want to buy a spool of wire it costs 89 cents and nails cost 10 cents. So it says what would be the cost of five bottles of glue? 
So I know glue costs 10 cents, and I'm going to buy five bottles. So if I want to know how much it's going to cost, what am I going to do? Am I going to add? No, I'm not going to add five bottles to 10 cents. Am I going to subtract? No, I'm going to multiply because I want to know how much am I going to spend. So it would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? But again, we're just writing an expression, so we don't need an equal sign or to solve. Okay, so we're going to look at this, the number of nails for 90 cents. So I know each nail costs 10 cents, and I know I'm going to start with 90 cents. And I'm going to divide because I know, remember we said when you have your answer and you know how much you're going to spend already, now we need to break up that 90 into, see how many nails we can get. So if we spend 90 cents, I have to move that around. So if we spend 90 cents, we're going to divide by 10 cents, but remember we don't have to solve this. All we have to do is set this up for someone else to solve. So I know I have 90 total cents and I know it costs 10 cents, so how many nails can I get would be our answer. Okay, so we are going to move on to our math fluency. So we have multi-digit addition, so I have 123 plus 57. So what I did for any strategy was I used the standard algorithm. So this is the way we add in class. So I'm going to go to my ones place here. I'm going to put in my head 3 plus 7 equals 7, 8, 9, 10. Remember, you can't write 10 here, so I'm going to write my 0. And then I'm going to regroup and carry that 1. So now I have three numbers to add. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 5 is... Eight. So then I'm going to come over here. One plus nothing equals one. So my answer is 180. Right? So then another way to do this was over here. I have 100. Here's my 100 block. I'm using models. My two tens and my three ones. I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five tens and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. So when we add that together, then we know we can get rid of these ones. And I'm going to trade those because they add up to, let me show you guys that again, actually. So I know I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when I have ten ones, it's like when we're playing banker, banker, you can trade your ten ones in for a ten bar. So I'm going to get rid of my ones, and I'm going to create another 10 bar. And for my 10s, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have 180. Okay, for my story, I said we had 123 days off of school. They added 57 more days. How many more days off of school do we, did we get? Um, so that would be my word problem. Then I'm going to move on to checking your answer. So remember, all we do is the inverse, so we're going to do the opposite. So remember, we've been doing multiplication for a long time, but now we're doing addition. And the opposite of addition is subtraction. So I'm going to take my answer. So I have 180, and I'm going to subtract going this way. So I'm going to subtract 57, and if I did it correctly, I will get 123. So let's do this together. So 0 minus 7, you can't do it. So I go next door, and I knock on the door. Hello, eight tens. Can I borrow one from you? And he's so nice, he always says, sure. So my eight tens become seven tens, and the one ten I borrowed goes back to the ones place. And my zero ones becomes, remember we're taking a ten bar, and we're putting it in this, so we have ten ones. Okay, so now we can go back here. So ten minus seven equals three. So we're going to write our three in the ones place. Then we're going to go to the tens place. Seven minus five equals two. Write the two in the tens place. And one minus nothing equals one. Write the one in the hundreds place. And I got 123, which means my answer is correct. Okay, and that's it for math. So remember, all we're doing is expressions for today. Then we're going to move on to um, Reading, all you have to do is you're going to finish Water Sky, and then you guys can do the dramatic reading. So this is kind of like what we used to do in class when you used to go up to the front and do the plays. 
So one person can be Lincoln and one can be Cusick, and you guys can do that with your family. And let me know how that goes. If you guys have fun with it, tell me how you liked it. And then your last thing you're going to do is your writing prompt. So today your writing prompt would be write a letter to a parent or family member describing something creative you would like to do at home. So remember, let's go over quickly our format of our letter. Remember, we always date our letters, so when we look back, we know when someone wrote it. Greeting, so you're telling a friend, so you're telling who you're writing to. So dear friend, you guys can fill in the name of your friend. Remember, when you're writing, you don't have to indent on your letters. You can if you want, but most likely we never indent because this is different than paragraph format. So dear friend, I... The question was, what is something you would like to do it? at home, something creative. I would like to try blah, 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 blah. And then once you're done, so your message is here, what are you trying to say to the reader? Then at the end, you sign off. So this is like signing off, and then you write your name so they know who's writing the letter. Okay, guys, and that is it for your packet work. If you are doing the virtual learning, remember you are doing um, this would be Wednesdays. So you're going to read Communicating Lego Style, um, which I believe is on Achieve 3000. Let's click on that. Let's check that out. So yes, this is an Achieve 3000 article. So you guys can probably find that in Achieve and make your points count. And then they want you to read a book from this link. So today, instead of a journal, they want you to play hangman or tic-tac-toe with a family member. Um, math, there's a link. Steam, there's a link. And then family time, you can pick one of these activities. So this should look familiar. You could choose one of these to do. You can play some game that you have in mind either way. And that is it for today. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Mm -hmm.